the hairdresser had my you know little appointment and it's just hair it's just hair Drea it's just hair it's just hair okay so I went to the appointment um and when I walked in there was an older woman there she was like the previous client before me and she had her hair like you know it's a had her hair in like a tight curl type hairstyle and I was like okay you know my mom gets that hairstyle from time to time cool <laughs> so then um it was my turn sat down in the chair mind you there was nobody else in the shop and that was because they have two different salons one on the air force base and then they have like their own independent shop on the outside so the closest, the soonest appointment that they could get me was for the one on the Air Force Base. So not a lot of people go there, which is why it was empty. There was only one stylist in there, which was the girl I had the appointment with. So everything was going good. And then she started to like take my hair out. Now, mind you, I had just took those crochet braids out of my head like that this morning. And... I didn't comb through it. I didn't do anything to it because I was like, you know, when I get there, they're going to do a lot of manipulation as it is. And I just, I don't need to be yanking and pulling on my hair when they're about to yank and pull on it. So I didn't touch it. I should have touched it. Because <laughs> she starts to like detangle my head and she's, at first I was like, she has to be using like the small teeth on the comb because there is, like when I say yanking, like yank yank like she was yanking <laughs> with this comb she was like oh you know I'm just trying to get all of your shedded hair out because if I wash it with your shedded hair still in there it's going to be a tangled hot mess cool you are the professional I believe you so after I survive her detangling everything she takes me over to the to get my hair washed she shampoos me twice shampoos conditions then shampoos me again and puts the deep conditioner in sits me under the dryer 15 minutes fantastic still everything is good so then it was time once my hair was done she rinsed the deep conditioner out and then gets out the blow dryer and she's using first she was using a paddle brush to like straighten my hair but like Maybe it's just because I've been watching YouTube of how people, you know, have been getting their hair straightened, like natural hair being straightened. I've always seen the stylists like part the hair, go in small sections and straighten with the brush and the blow dryer. That's not what happened. OK, just listen. That's not what happened. So all of my hair is wet. She takes the shower cap off, takes the towel off my hair. And with her blow dryer and her brush, like she didn't part nothing, section off nothing. She just starts going. Like we are now full fledged drying my hair and brushing it at the same time. Just any old kind of way, any old like it was just whatever. It was a free for all. Just whatever hair got caught in the comb or in the brush is what got dried at the time. There was no rhyme or reason to it. So, again, head swinging all which away because she's just all willy-nilly with the brush. So, she gets my hair all straightened. By the grace of God, I don't know how because, like, it was no, like, real technique into drying my hair. So, she gets it all straight and then she's like... Okay, so I'm more of like a babysitting the hair kind of person. Do you want me to baby like as in terms of like because I wanted to trim. So I can see that like you have a lot 
of damage to your ends? Like, do you want to just cut it off little bit by little bit? Or do you want me to just cut off everything that needs to come off right now? So I was just of the mindset, cut it all off. Like, I've had short hair before. It's not a problem. I kind of liked it. Cut it all off. Whatever needs to come off, cut it off. So she's like, okay, I'll cut it off. And then again, there was no parting of sections. There was no row rhyme or reason to it. She just starts pulling down hair, cut off the ends. Pull down some more hair, cut off the ends. Like, I feel like this is not how it's supposed to go. Like, that's what I was thinking in my head. But I'm the kind of person to where if I'm at a restaurant and I order something and they bring me back the wrong food, I'm going to eat it and not send it back because I don't need nobody spitting in my food, doing something crazy to it. So maybe that's what God wanted me to have for that day. So the same goes for the person who has scissors in my head. I'm not about to complain with you and argue. I'm just not. You have all the power right now. <laughs> so I'm going to just sit there, take it like a champ. So after she got done cutting, like she managed to get it all even. Like, so there had to be some sort of method to her madness because when she like had all my hair out, it was like a really rounded fro. Like it was all even, very rounded. So after she got done that, she was like, okay, do you want me to just curl it straight or do you want me to put some curls in it like I did for Miss Faye, who was the older woman who was leaving the salon as I walked in. And I was like, oh, you can put some curls in it. She's like, yeah, because it'll look better with curls as, as opposed to straight down since it's shorter now because she had to take a lot of hair off. So I was like, cool, put some curls in it. But... I'm not saying I don't like my hair. It's just I feel like I look like somebody's grandma just a little bit. Like, just, just a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. It'll get better. Maybe, like, tomorrow after I wrap it tonight and comb it down tomorrow, I'll feel differently about it. But right now, the way these curls are sitting, I feel like... I don't know how I feel, to be honest. Maybe it's the glasses. Like, maybe my glasses plus the hair and then I don't have any earrings in. Like, maybe that's why I'm not, like, fully in love with it. But that salon was an experience. It was definitely an experience. But at least I know, like, my hair ends are properly clipped. My hair feels very healthy. It's nice and soft. She did way better than I could have ever done because I promise you every time I put my hands in my own head to try to do something, I apologize to it first. Like, hair, we're, neither one of us is about to enjoy this experience. So my apologies. So she did a thousand times better than I could have ever done. So no real complaints. But yeah, I did a thing, guys. And I basically cut off all my hair. All right, y'all. Please excuse me. Are you going? Okay, I'm going then. Thank you. I don't think people fully understand like how the right of way works. Cause he most definitely got there first, so he had the right to go. But please excuse me while I talk and eat and drive. Oh, I don't feel like pulling in there. All right, but I'm trying to multitask because I just pulled up to pick up the boys and once they get in the car, I can't have nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right. Whew. I 
feel like this is about to be the driest chicken sandwich on the planet. Has anybody tried McDonald's new chicken sandwiches? Since I was out and about this morning, I just picked one up for lunch. And it don't got no type of sauce on it. Nothing. Like, if you bite into this as is and try to eat it, this is a choke sandwich. Okay, I'm just going to wait until I get back home to eat this. Because <laughs> I got some leftover um, honey mustard sauce from Chick-fil-A. And I'll put that on there. You no know, lubrication. Oh. Damn it. I was so excited to eat that. Alright. Keep the napkins. This. Go right on the head. Hide the evidence. Put this chicken sandwich right in my purse so that they don't see it. It's a shame as a parent, you gotta be so damn sneaky. So the chicken sandwich is in my purse. And when I get out of the car to go walk up to the drop off point, I'll throw this bag in the trash can. Hold on. My bad, y'all. That was the doctor's office finally calling to tell me that they put in the referral so that I can get my Ocrevus for my MS. A whole three months and a dollar short. But finally, thank you, Jesus, is done. Oh, that was... I've been waiting for mad long for them to just send over a referral, which I feel like is just... A piece of paper that they have to fill out so that the insurance can be like okay we'll pay for it like that's all that's all I was waiting for that's all I was waiting for three months three months but let me go get these boys drink as much of this soda as possible oh, oh damn it did I leave my mask in the house I think I did okay I'm just not going to talk to nobody or get close to anyone. But we're like on the outside, so I'm just not, again, I'm just not going to talk to anybody. And I know y'all see I got my hat on, even though I just got my hair curled, but it's been so long. I've like had to deal with my hair straightened that I forgot which way to wrap it. And I wrapped it the wrong way. And now it's, it's looking a little crazy. Like, especially on this side. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hold on. Yeah, it's like a shadow on this side. But it's looking, it's, it's looking crazy on that side. So we just going to tuck it. Just like so like that. As Miss Tabitha would say, we just going to tuck it. And just leave a little out in front. A little razzle dazzle and <laughs> call it a day. So let me go get these boys. My kids are so spoiled, like so spoiled. So hold on. So I forgot to take let me turn you the other way. There we go. So when I got out of the car to go pick up the boys, I forgot to take the McDonald's bag and throw in the trash. But of course, you know, I still had my drink. I wasn't gonna throw that in the trash. I got paid good money for that. It was a lot left. So the boys ran back to the car. I'm not running no place, so I walked. And of course, like they saw the bag on the floor, they saw the cup. So as soon as I get in the car, Tom Tom, mommy, I was really good at school today. Like I had a good day. Okay, cool. As you should, sir. 
So, can I get, can we go to McDonald's? No, we cannot go to McDonald's. Like, having a good day at school and not getting in trouble and all things of that nature, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay? You don't get rewarded for that. That's what you're supposed to do. That's the normal. You get rewarded when you go above and beyond the normal. You get me? So, I think partially he asked that because Theo did something good at school today too. So, they gave him like a little starburst. So, of course, once Thomas saw that Theo had a starburst, he had to have something too. Oh, my God. Moral of the story, don't spoil your kids. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, like, there was, before I started getting, like, into my finances like that and really budgeting and being accountable for what I spend, I just, I've noticed that, like, when we before that, I had no problem going to McDonald's, getting you a happy meal. I don't feel like cooking. Cool, we'll go get some McDonald's. Cool, we'll order some pizza. All of that. I had no problem doing it. But now that I feel like I've leveled up and matured a little bit, I'm super conscious of all of that. Like, you got McDonald's money? Like, I'm, I'm becoming that mom. I'm turning into my mother. Do you have McDonald's money? Okay. We have chicken nuggets at the house. We have french fries at the house. All the little things that you want. From McDonald's toys, you got a whole toy box full of toys at the house. That's where I'm at with it. Like, I took my last little teeny tiny bit. <laughs> teeny tiny bit of the change that was left from my haircut to treat myself to some McDonald's. It, like... This was a one-off for me too. Like it was a treat for myself. It wasn't a, oh mercy. Kids are so, I, I just, worst thing I ever did was spoil my children. Cause now when they act spoiled, I get mad. Like who raised you? Why are you behaving this way? This is not how you're supposed to act. But I have to come to the understanding that I did this. Like I, I gave them too much of what I never had instead of giving them more of what I did have. My mom would have turned around in that back seat like, okay, you want McDonald's, pass your money forward. We sure can go to McDonald's. Oh goodness, these kids kill me. But y'all see what I'm saying with my hair? Wrapped it in completely the wrong direction. So I've been looking online, well, at YouTube, of people doing like the finger waves in their hair, which I think they look really cute. I just don't know if I would be able to do it. You know, this is all straight. I don't know, maybe I'll try to put like rollers in it tonight or something. See how that'll work for tomorrow. She told me to use flexi rods, but like, my hair is super short now and even the small flexi rods that I do have I don't know if they would really do anything I do have perm rods though I probably should just use some perm rods to at least curl up this side because this side still has some curl left to it but yeah that's what my hair is looking like good and crazy good morning family okay so I know I just got my hair did and everything, but I still don't know what to do with it. Like, <laughs> I tried to do the finger waves. That was an epic, epic fail. The moment I put the wrapping mousse onto my hair, like I told y'all, it was it 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 was gone. Like it, it was all gone. So braided it down. Um, I wore it out like curly uh, one day, and then I just I braided it down. And threw on a wig. <laughs> so, this is my outfit of the day. Um, it's my day off. The boys are on spring break. Yay, so excited. Um, like, teachers, y'all don't want y'all kids back. Like, why they need so many breaks? Please come get your kids. But, 
Um, boys are on spring break, so I'm going to take them with me because I've decided to treat myself today. I've been meaning to go to Rainbow to buy myself some new jeans for quite some time now. But, you know, life of a mom and all. Never really find the time to do anything for myself. So they're just going to have to come with me because they're running around this house real crazy. So, yeah, I finally I gave in, guys, and I bought the amazing TikTok tights. And then I got this shirt. I ordered this like workout crop top from um, a store back east. I don't know if they have them out here, but it's called Five Below. From their website. So yeah, this is my outfit of the day. Looking real tie-dye and such. But okay, let's go to Rainbow. Yeah. So, went into Rainbow, got a few things. They really didn't have much. But then we drove a half an hour away to go to this Walmart because they had a... Um, a GoPro that was only $89 and I was like okay cool been meaning to get one you know since summer plans and it's waterproof and all that good stuff so I was gonna get it we get here and mind you the temperature has changed from what it was when I got dressed this morning so this crop top it's not cutting it because it's now cold and I'm trying to like hold my shirt down every time I walk because the air is biting so anyway, we get to this Walmart after driving for a half an hour, get to the Walmart, go inside, ask the attendant, like, you know, where are the cameras, the GoPros or whatever. And he's like, oh, we don't have any more of this particular brand. Well, not brand, but the particular model that I'm looking for. I'm like, yeah, we know all we have is silver. It says like, um the i know some of them are a lot cheaper than the other like yeah it's the white one that i need they only had black or silver left but when i checked the website which made me come out here it said they had two left so either the two left that someone purchased are in their cart and they're walking around the store but then that wouldn't work because you have to pay for electronics in the electronics section so it would have already updated that those items were no longer available and purchased if they had already been purchased. So anyway, whatever. I'm not going to get all bent up out of shape about and argue about it with the people. Online, it said they had two left when I went in the actual store, according to the man who works there. They don't have any more left. So I just wasted gas. And my car is running a little funny. Like, she she's stuttering a little bit when I try to hit the gas to go faster. So, I can tell she's not going to be around much longer. And I'm going to really need to start buckling down on saving for a new car. Because, yeah. Me and public transportation and walking, like only in extreme circumstances I'm gonna need a vehicle Ugh, but okay let me get these boys back home so that we can have lunch and they can take a nap because they're awful tired and I can put on warmer clothes and then I'll show y'all what I got from rainbow okay guys so we're home the boys went over to their little friend's house across the street so I'm gonna show you guys what I got before I go walk over there to pick them up because they can stay over at their house all day long. And I don't know how those people do it. But okay. So, first thing I got were new belts. And look at the top of the black one. Isn't that so cute? So it came with a black and a red one. Um, one of like the little things about losing weight, I don't want to say it's a bad thing because you know, you're losing weight, that's the goal. But the annoying things is that none of your stuff fits you. So a lot of my jeans are like, I look like saggy patty in the back because I've lost weight. And so the pants 
sag in places they're not supposed to sag and then none of my belts they're still too big so I can't really use them they're not very effective so I got new belts and I went from needing an extra large to these are now large so yay new belts finally and then I got a pair of these brown tights they were three dollars um, and I got them to go with this little pullover. It's so fluffy. So just to go with this pullover, um, it reminded me of like some of the loungewear sets that you see it like pop up on like Shein or Chic Me or one of those other little online boutique places. So just a nice little lounge outfit, you know, with these tights, just look real cute and brown <laughs> and fluffy. Like it is really so fluffy. Probably going to have to dry clean this though, because this material, I just see it going real matted real fast, but this was $10 and again, the tights were five, three. Yeah. Three. So. That was that. And then I got another pair. I was so pleasantly surprised to see that Rainbow also sells the little scrunch butt leggings, but these look way more see-through than the ones that I have on. Like I can see through these right now. Oh my goodness. So I got a black pair. So I have already like a top upstairs to go with that. Like it could even go with this shirt that I have on right now, swap it out. So I got another pair of these and these were $9.99. And it's crazy cause I don't even, I guess I was walking around and looking at all the clothes and stuff. Like I'm almost, I'm in like a weird in between kind of position where I can't really shop at places because at Rainbow, the plus size section is from 14 to 24. But then when you go on the other side, that goes up to like a 12. I'm not a 12, that's still too tight for me, but a 14 is too big. So I'm like in the 13 range and trying to find a 13 was hard. Like <laughs> I was scouring the racks on both sides trying to find my new size and it was it was like a scavenger hunt so i managed to find these two this well for the first pair of jeans they're just they kind of remind me of like some mom jeans like they don't have any <laughs> type of shape or like any kind of like body to them they're just like some straight cut yeah it, it actually does say it right here they are the mom jean loose fit and they look like they mean everything of what they just said. So I got these pair because these were the only pair of 13s that I could find. And they were also on sale for five bucks. So I got some mom jeans. <laughs> I guess, I hope they're cute once I put them on. Like once I try them on, I'll post a picture right here for you all so you can see how they fit. But. I have really it's really come to that y'all like I'm only 31 and it's already come to that that I'm rocking mom jeans mom jeans though oh moving right along I got this little shirt because I thought it was cute and I like the little message that it said so it has a butterfly over here in the corner and then when you turn it on the back it says, don't let anyone stop you from flying. So I don't know why I just said that, like I was doing storybook time with Theo at night. But yes, <laughs> it says, don't let anyone stop you from flying. And I just love it. And you guys, you know, butterflies are like the, I think like the animal for MS. So, and it's orange too. So this was just like, it was meant to be. So I got this, 
Um, and it's a 2X because I just feel like it would look cute if it was a little baggy. So I got it in a 2X and it was $5. And then it's got the little scrunch bottom with the tie. Do you guys see it? No, you can't really see it. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Little tie bottom. So, yeah, my little $5 shirt. And, all right, so this is the last thing. This is the last pair of jeans that I found, and they're a 13. Um, and even though they say a 13, I'm still looking at them like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit all the way I got into these. Like, I, I really don't know. But I'm going to try, though. Not that I have a choice, because I let Theo carry the bag out of the store, and he was just carrying it all any old kind of way. And I told the clerk to put the receipt in the bag and when we stepped outside it was windy and the receipt flew out of the bag and blew like in the street and so Tom Tom took off like a bat out of hell into the street mind you mad cars in the parking lot like ran out into the street to go catch the damn receipt and I'm just like forget the receipt worry about your life like it was so stressful y'all so stressful so I lost the receipt basically like the wind took the receipt so none of this can go back <laughs> so I hope it fits because I can't return it so here are my jeans just a light wash pair of jeans um I do have another pair of 13 jeans from rainbow already they do fit I can pull them up like I don't have to worry about them falling off I don't have to wear a belt with them so I know I can fit a 13, it's just the way these look. Well, there is some stretch, okay, for the stretch. Just the butt and the thighs though. I don't know, especially my thighs. Like, I don't know if my thighs are gonna fit in here. <laughs> but we are gonna see, again, when I try them on, I will post a picture right here for y'all to see. But yeah. That's what I got from Rainbow. That's what I treated myself to from Rainbow. Um, the next thing I will be treating myself to is a new pair of sneakers, especially some workout sneakers. I really do need a new pair of those, so that'll be the next thing that I budget for to treat myself to. So yeah, I'm just gonna end the vlog now, guys. Um, please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, you know, cause it, it don't cost you no money dollars. like no money dollars to just hit that little red button over here like just hit it um so yeah i'll see y'all in the next one can i take you there